God says, my dear child, this week you are going to receive a big amount of money in your bank account that you have never dreamed of. Money will come to you easily and naturally because I am giving you my special favor. Watch this video till end to come in God's favor. In the big journey of life, where each thread intertwines with countless others, creating a picture vast and complex, it's easy to feel lost or overlooked. Yet, in the midst of this immense creation, there is a voice, gentle and unwavering, that speaks directly to you. It is a voice of assurance, a promise from the divine, telling you that you are not forgotten, that you are seen, loved, and bestowed with a special favor. This special favor is not just a fleeting gift or a temporary blessing. It is a profound and enduring promise of provision and abundance. It's an assurance that money, which often seems elusive and hard to attain, will find its way to you easily and naturally. This isn't to say that life will be without effort or that you should simply sit back and wait for riches to fall into your lap. Like this video if you believe in Jesus. Rather, it's an encouragement that your efforts will be met with success, that the paths you choose to walk will lead to prosperity, and that the work of your hands will be blessed. Imagine a farmer who tills the soil, plants the seeds, and then waits for the rain to come. The farmer's labor is essential, but without the rain, there would be no harvest. Similarly, your endeavors in life are like the planting of seeds. With God's favor, it's as though the rain comes at just the right time, nurturing your efforts and bringing forth a bountiful harvest. This special favor also means that opportunities will present themselves in unexpected ways. You might find doors opening for you in places you hadn't anticipated, connections forming that propel you forward, and ideas coming to you that spark success. It's a reminder that the universe is conspiring in your favor, guided by a divine hand that wishes to see you thrive. Furthermore, this promise of money coming easily and naturally is grounded in a deeper understanding of what true wealth is. It's not merely about accumulating vast sums of money or material possessions. Instead, it's about achieving a state of abundance where your needs are met and you have enough to share with others. It's a wealth that brings joy, peace, and fulfillment, not just to you but to those around you as well. God's favor also invites you to approach life with a spirit of gratitude and generosity. When you recognize that your provision comes from a source greater than yourself, you're inspired to share your blessings with others. This act of giving not only multiplies the blessings in your own life, but also becomes a source of hope and provision for those around you. In this journey towards abundance, it's important to remember that challenges and setbacks may still arise. They are part of the human experience, lessons that teach us resilience, patience, and faith. God's promise does not mean a life devoid of challenges, but it does assure you that you will have the strength to overcome them and that even in the midst of difficulties, you will find pockets of grace and provision. As you walk forward, emboldened by this divine assurance, let your heart be open to the many forms that blessings can take. Money and wealth may come in the expected forms of financial success and opportunities, but they also come through relationships, experiences, and moments of profound joy and peace. Recognize and cherish these diverse expressions of abundance. Finally, remember that this special favor is a call to live a life aligned with your highest values and purposes. It's an invitation to pursue your passions, to use your talents for the greater good, and to walk a path that is true to yourself. In doing so, you become a conduit of God's favor, not only receiving blessings, but also being a blessing to the world around you. So, dear child, as you move forward, know that you are not alone. You are watched over, guided, and loved. 
Money will come to you easily and naturally, not as an end in itself, but as a means to live a rich and fulfilling life. Trust in this promise, work towards your dreams with faith and dedication, and watch as the special favor of the divine unfolds in your life. If you want to join our spiritual family today to unlock a path to inner peace and enlightenment, then make sure to click on Join button and participate in our transformation journey. God says, my dear child, your life will change from being stuck to moving forward, from not having enough to having plenty, from being confused to being clear, and from feeling hurt to feeling peaceful. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast, dense forest. This forest represents the challenges and struggles you faced. The trees are so tall and thick that they block out the sun, and the path through it seems unclear, winding, and fraught with obstacles. You've been here for what feels like an eternity, unsure of which way to go, your progress halted by the dense underbrush and the fear of what lies beyond. Now, envision a gentle but firm hand on your shoulder, a voice whispering, it's time. This is the moment of change. The ground beneath your feet starts to firm up, giving you a stable place to stand. A path begins to clear in front of you, illuminated by a soft light that penetrates the once impenetrable canopy. With each step forward, the brambles and barriers that once hindered your progress fall away. You're moving, truly moving, and with each step, the forest becomes less daunting, the path clearer and your stride more confident. As you emerge from the forest, you find yourself in a lush valley filled with all the provisions you need, food, water, shelter, and warmth. Where there was once scarcity, there is now abundance. This valley is a testament to the promise of provision. The fields are ripe with crops, the orchards heavy with fruit, and the streams teem with life. Here, in this place of plenty, you realize that the fear of not having enough was part of the journey, but it is not your destination. Your hands, once empty, are now full. In this valley, the air is clearer, and so is your mind. The confusion that clouded your thoughts and made each decision seem like a monumental task dissipates like fog under the morning sun. You find clarity in simplicity, realizing that the answers you sought were not hidden in the complexities of the forest, but in the tranquility of the valley. With this clarity comes a sense of purpose. Your goals, your dreams, and the steps you need to take to achieve them are laid out before you, as evident as the path you now walk on. This journey has not been without its trials. The brambles that once held you back also left you with scars, reminders of the struggles you faced. Yet, as you stand in the valley, surrounded by abundance, clarity, and the evidence of your progress, the pain begins to fade. It's replaced by a sense of peace, a deep, encompassing peace that fills you from within. This peace does not erase the past but transforms it, turning your wounds into wisdom and your hurt into strength. The transformation from being stuck to moving forward, from not having enough to having plenty, from being confused to being clear, and from feeling hurt to feeling peaceful is not an overnight occurrence. It's a journey, one that requires faith, perseverance, and the belief that change is possible. It's a journey that you do not walk alone. The presence that guided you out of the forest and into the valley remains with you, a constant companion on your path to a better, brighter future. So, dear child, take heart. The struggles you face today are not the end of your story. They are the beginning of a beautiful transformation, a testament to your strength and resilience. The promise of moving forward, of abundance, clarity, and peace is not just a distant dream but a reality that awaits you. Keep faith, continue to walk forward, and watch as your life unfolds in ways you never imagined. Delve into the emotions associated with each phase, the challenges faced, 
and the lessons learned. By doing so, you'll not only provide encouragement and hope, but also a roadmap for navigating the complexities of life with faith and perseverance. In the vast expanse of the universe, amidst the stars and galaxies, there exists a presence beyond comprehension, a force of boundless love and infinite wisdom. This omnipotent being, whom many call God, watches over us with unwavering care and compassion. Like a loving parent, God whispers to us, his dear children, promising miracles, blessings, and improvements to enrich our lives and guide us towards fulfillment. From the moment we draw our first breath to the final beat of our hearts, God's divine grace surrounds us, nurturing our souls and lighting our path. Through the gentle whispers of the wind and the majestic beauty of nature, he reminds us of his omnipresence, ever ready to bestow upon us his divine gifts. Type 1818 if you needed this. Miracles, those extraordinary occurrences that defy logic and reason, are but manifestations of God's power and love. Whether it be the miraculous healing of a sick loved one or the unexpected provision of resources in times of dire need, these moments serve as reminders of God's unwavering presence in our lives. Each miracle is a testament to his boundless compassion, a beacon of hope in times of darkness. Blessings, too, flow abundantly from God's benevolent hand, showering us with abundance and grace. They come in many forms, a loving family, a fulfilling career, or simply the warmth of friendship. Each blessing is a precious gift, bestowed upon us not out of merit, but out of God's infinite love for his children. In moments of doubt or despair, it is through these blessings that we find solace and strength, knowing that we are never alone on this journey called life. But God's love does not stop at miracles and blessings, it extends to the realm of improvement, guiding us towards growth and self-discovery. Through the trials and tribulations we face, God molds us into beings of strength and resilience, equipping us with the tools we need to navigate life's challenges. With each obstacle overcome and lesson learned, we emerge stronger and wiser, a testament to God's transformative power. In every aspect of our lives, God's hand is at work, orchestrating events and guiding our steps towards a brighter future. He sees the potential within each of us, nurturing our dreams and aspirations with unwavering faith. With his divine guidance, we are empowered to pursue our passions and fulfill our purpose, knowing that we are supported by the boundless love of our Creator. Yet, amidst the chaos of everyday life, it can be easy to lose sight of God's promises to forget the miracles, blessings, and improvements that await us. In moments of doubt or despair, we must remember to turn to God to seek solace in His loving embrace. For it is in surrendering to His will that we find true peace and fulfillment, trusting in His divine plan for our lives. So, dear child of God, embrace the miracles, blessings, and improvements that He has in store for you. Open your heart to his love and allow his grace to guide you on this wondrous journey called life. For in his hands, you will find everything you need to thrive and succeed in every area of your life. In the grand tapestry of existence, where light and darkness dance in eternal conflict, there exists a divine principle, a beacon of hope and justice, that guides the destiny of all creation. This principle, embodied by the benevolent presence many call God, promises to uphold righteousness and ensure that the wicked do not triumph over the righteous. Like a loving parent watching over his children, God speaks to us, his dear ones, assuring us of his unwavering commitment to fairness and justice. Throughout the annals of history, the struggle between good and evil has played out in countless forms each chapter bearing witness to the eternal battle for the soul of humanity. Yet, amidst the chaos and turmoil, God's promise remains steadfast, 
a beacon of hope in a world plagued by darkness. As a fair and just God, he does not turn a blind eye to the deeds of the wicked, nor does he forsake the cries of the righteous. Instead, he stands as a pillar of strength, ready to intervene on behalf of those who seek righteousness and truth. Though the wicked may appear to prosper in their schemes and machinations, their triumph is but a fleeting illusion, soon to be undone by the hand of divine justice. For God's justice is not bound by the constraints of mortal understanding, it transcends time and space, weaving its way through the fabric of reality with unwavering precision. Though the wheels of justice may turn slowly, they turn inexorably towards the triumph of the righteous and the downfall of the wicked. In the face of adversity and persecution, the righteous find solace in the knowledge that they are not alone that God's divine justice is working tirelessly on their behalf. Even in the darkest of times, when all hope seems lost, they cling to the promise of a brighter tomorrow, knowing that justice will ultimately prevail. But God's justice is not merely punitive, it is also restorative, seeking to mend the brokenness of the world and reconcile all things unto himself. Through acts of mercy and compassion, he offers redemption to the repentant sinner and forgiveness to the contrite heart. In his infinite wisdom, he seeks not the destruction of the wicked, but their transformation into beings of light and love. Yet, for those who persist in their wickedness, who refuse to heed the call of divine mercy, there will come a day of reckoning, a day when justice will be swift and unforgiving. In that hour, the righteous will stand vindicated, their faithfulness rewarded. While the wicked will face the consequences of their actions, their schemes unraveling before them like a house of cards. Type 1212 to claim it. For God is not a passive observer in the affairs of humanity, he is an active participant, working tirelessly to ensure that justice is served and righteousness prevails. Though the road may be long and fraught with peril, the righteous march forward with unwavering faith, knowing that their God is with them every step of the way. So, dear child of God, take heart and stand firm in your faith, for the triumph of the righteous is assured. Though the night may be dark and the way uncertain, know that the dawn of justice is near, shining brightly on the horizon. In God's hands, justice will prevail, and the wicked will not triumph over the righteous. In the depths of our souls, where hopes and fears collide, there exists a longing, a yearning to find meaning and purpose in a world filled with uncertainty and doubt. It is in these moments of vulnerability that God, our loving Creator, speaks to us, His dear children offering solace and guidance in the midst of life's trials and tribulations. Give me your burdens, he whispers, and live for me, not for yourself. In these simple yet profound words lies the key to true fulfillment and inner peace. As we journey through life, burdened by the weight of our worries and fears, God invites us to surrender them unto him, to lay them at his feet and trust in his infinite wisdom and love. For he alone possesses the power to lighten our load and lift the heavy burdens that weigh us down. In his presence, we find refuge from the storms of life, our souls finding rest and renewal in his embrace. But surrendering our burdens is not merely an act of relinquishment, it is also an act of faith, a declaration of our trust in God's providence and care. For when we place our lives in his hands, we open ourselves to his divine guidance, allowing him to lead us on the path of righteousness and truth. No longer shackled by the chains of our own desires and ambitions, we are free to live for God, to fulfill his will and purpose for our lives. Living for God is a calling, an invitation to transcend the narrow confines of our selfish desires and ambitions and embrace a higher, nobler purpose. It is a journey of self-discovery and transformation, as we strive to align our will with His and become vessels of His grace and love in the world. 
In living for God, we find true fulfillment and meaning, our lives infused with purpose and significance beyond measure. Yet, living for God does not mean forsaking ourselves entirely, rather, it means surrendering our own will to His divine will and allowing Him to work through us for the greater good. It is a partnership, a collaboration between Creator and creation as we seek to co-create a world filled with love, compassion, and justice. In living for God, we discover our true selves, our identities rooted in His unconditional love and grace. But living for God is not without its challenges, it requires courage, perseverance, and unwavering faith. In a world consumed by self-interest and greed, it can be difficult to resist the temptations of worldly success and recognition. Yet, in the words of Jesus, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world, yet forfeit his soul? In the end, it is not wealth or power that brings true fulfillment, but the knowledge that we have lived our lives in service to something greater than ourselves. So, dear child of God, heed his call and surrender your burdens unto him. Allow His love to permeate every aspect of your being, guiding you on the path of righteousness and truth. For in living for God, you will find true peace and fulfillment, your life a testament to His boundless grace and love. God speaks in the quiet moments of our lives, in the gentle breeze, and in the silence of our hearts. My dear child, he whispers softly, a voice filled with love and warmth, reaching out to touch the deepest parts of our soul. Get ready for all the blessings that will come your way. These words, simple yet profound, carry a message of hope, promise, and divine assurance that resonates within us, stirring feelings of anticipation and joy. Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, moments of happiness and times of challenges. Yet, in this journey, there's a guiding hand, a divine presence that watches over us, guiding our steps, and leading us towards our destiny. God's promise of blessings is not just about material wealth or earthly success, it's about the abundance of love, peace, and joy that fills our lives when we walk in His ways. To be ready for God's blessings means to open our hearts and minds, to let go of doubts and fears, and to trust in His divine plan. It requires us to look beyond our immediate circumstances and to see the bigger picture, to understand that every experience, every challenge, is a stepping stone towards something greater. It's about cultivating a heart of gratitude, recognizing the small miracles that happen every day, the beauty of a sunset, the laughter of a child, the warmth of a friend's embrace. These are God's blessings in disguise, reminders of His love and presence in our lives. Being ready also means being willing to share our blessings with others, to be a source of light and hope in a world that often seems dark and hopeless. It's about using our talents, our resources, and our time to make a difference, to spread love and kindness, to uplift those who are down. God's blessings are not just for us to keep, they are meant to be shared. In doing so, we not only enrich the lives of others, but also find deeper fulfillment and purpose in our own lives. It's a cycle of giving and receiving, a divine flow that enriches everyone it touches. Moreover, getting ready for God's blessings requires patience and faith. Sometimes, we might feel like nothing is happening, that our prayers are not being answered. But God's timing is perfect, and His ways are not our ways. He knows what we need and when we need it, and He is working behind the scenes to bring about His plans for our lives. During these times of waiting, it's important to stay faithful, to continue to pray, and to keep our hearts open. We must resist the temptation to become discouraged or to give up. Instead, we should use this time to grow spiritually, to deepen our relationship with God, and to prepare ourselves for the blessings that are to come. 
God's blessings are also about inner transformation, about becoming more like Him in our thoughts, words, and actions. It's about letting His love change us from the inside out, so that we can live lives that reflect His goodness and grace. Type 777 to affirm. This transformation is perhaps the greatest blessing of all, for it leads to true happiness and peace. As we get ready for God's blessings, we must also be mindful of the challenges that may come our way. Blessings often come with responsibilities, and sometimes, they may even lead us into difficult situations. But these challenges are part of the journey, opportunities for us to grow in faith and to learn to rely more on God. In the end, God's promise of blessings is a reminder of His unfailing love for us, a love that never gives up, never fails, and never ends. It's a call to live lives of faith, hope, and love, to trust in His divine plan, and to be ready to receive all the good things He has in store for us. So, let us open our hearts to God, let us trust in His promises, and let us get ready for the blessings that will come our way. For with God by our side, there is nothing we cannot face, no dream too big to achieve, and no blessing too great to receive. Imagine receiving a message from the Divine, one that promises an outpouring of blessings and miracles. This narrative isn't just a message of hope, it's a blueprint for a life filled with joy, happiness, and peace, not just for you, but for your entire family. Let's explore how this divine assurance can transform your life and the lives of those you hold dear. Firstly, envision your daily life becoming a canvas for miracles, each day unfolding with new blessings. These aren't just grand gestures, but also the small, almost imperceptible moments of grace that accumulate, making life richer and more fulfilling. Perhaps it's finding a sense of peace in the morning's quiet, the unexpected kindness of a stranger, or the sheer beauty of nature that surrounds you. These moments, though small, are profound in their impact, reminding you of the divine promise of an overflowing life. Your family, too, becomes part of this blessed narrative. Imagine conflicts resolving more smoothly, with understanding and compassion replacing frustration and anger. The bonds between you and your loved ones grow stronger, fortified by shared experiences of joy and the collective witnessing of miracles in your lives. This doesn't mean there won't be challenges, but the approach to overcoming them changes. You tackle obstacles with faith and optimism, knowing that each hurdle is just a precursor to another blessing. In this divinely assured life, happiness isn't just a fleeting emotion but a constant state of being. It's finding contentment in what you have and where you are, even as you aspire for more. This happiness spills over into your interactions, making you a beacon of light for others. Your presence becomes a source of comfort and joy to those around you, spreading the very blessings you've received. Peace, too, becomes a cornerstone of your existence. It's not merely the absence of conflict, but the presence of a profound serenity that withstands life's ups and downs. This peace allows you to face the world with a calm heart and a clear mind, making decisions that align with your highest good and the good of those around you. Type Amen if you believe in God Jesus. As your life overflows with these blessings, the miracles become more evident. They're in the opportunities that seemingly appear out of nowhere, tailored to your needs and dreams. They're in the unexpected recoveries, the chance meetings that change your life's course, and the sudden insights that solve long-standing problems. These miracles aren't random, they're signs of the divine promise manifesting in your life reminding you of the endless possibilities that faith and positivity can bring. This blessed life also encourages you to give back, to share your abundance with others. 
your blessings become a source of hope and inspiration, showing others that they too can lead a life filled with joy, happiness, and peace. Your acts of kindness and generosity ripple outwards, creating a cycle of blessings that touches the lives of countless others. As you reflect on this divine promise, remember that it's not just about waiting for blessings to come. It's about recognizing and appreciating the miracles that are already part of your life. It's about living with intention, choosing joy and peace even in the face of challenges, and opening your heart to the endless possibilities that faith brings. The divine message of a life overflowing with blessings and miracles is a call to action. It's an invitation to live more fully, to embrace each moment with gratitude, and to share the abundance of your life with others. This journey of blessings is not just about personal fulfillment, but about creating a legacy of love, joy, and peace that impacts your family and the world around you. As you walk this path, remember that every step taken in faith brings you closer to the divine promise of an overflowing life filled with limitless joy, happiness, and peace. Imagine receiving a heartfelt message from the divine, a promise so profound and personal, healing, abundance, and unexpected opportunities. This message isn't just words, it's a transformative assurance that your life is about to change in the most beautiful ways. Let's explore the depth of this divine promise and how it unfolds in your life. The journey begins with healing, a fundamental transformation that touches every aspect of your being. Imagine the relief and peace that come from this healing process. Physical ailments begin to mend, emotional wounds start to heal, and mental burdens lighten. This healing isn't just about overcoming illnesses, it's about restoring your inner peace, renewing your spirit, and rejuvenating your energy. Every day, you feel a little stronger, a bit more vibrant, and significantly more at peace with yourself and the world around you. With healing setting the foundation, your life starts to attract abundance. This isn't just financial prosperity, though that's certainly part of it. It's an abundance of love, joy, connections, and opportunities. Imagine your life filled with moments that bring you pure happiness, relationships that enrich your soul, and achievements that fulfill your deepest desires. This abundance manifests in your generosity as you find more ways to share your blessings with others, creating a cycle of positivity and prosperity that enriches everyone it touches. The most thrilling part of this divine promise is the unexpected opportunities that suddenly appear, transforming your life in ways you never imagined. These opportunities could be new career paths that ignite your passion, chance encounters that turn into meaningful relationships, or creative endeavors that reveal your hidden talents. Each opportunity feels like a gift, perfectly timed and uniquely suited to your journey, pushing you toward your destiny. As you navigate this promised transformation, your perspective on life changes. You start to see challenges as stepping stones rather than obstacles, understanding that every experience is part of your growth. Your faith deepens, not just in the divine but in yourself, as you recognize the strength and resilience you possess. One of the most beautiful aspects of this journey is your ability to share the blessings you've received. Your healing becomes a source of hope for others struggling with their own battles. The abundance in your life allows you to help those in need, spreading joy and prosperity further than you could have imagined. And as you embrace and grow from each new opportunity, you inspire those around you to remain open to the possibilities that life offers. Gratitude becomes a constant theme in your life, not just for the big moments but for the everyday miracles that you once overlooked. You find joy in the simplicity of life, the beauty of nature, the laughter of friends, and the love of family. 
This gratitude magnifies your blessings, attracting even more positivity and abundance into your life. Even in a life filled with divine promises, challenges arise. Yet, with the assurance of healing, abundance, and opportunities, you face these challenges with a renewed spirit. You understand that each difficulty is an opportunity for growth, a chance to deepen your faith and strengthen your character. As you live out this divine promise, you become a beacon of love and light. Your journey inspires others to believe in the possibility of transformation, to remain hopeful in the face of adversity, and to open their hearts to the divine. Type 1 Love You God You create a legacy not just of what you've achieved, but of the lives you've touched, the hope you've sparked, and the love you've shared. Living out this divine promise means embracing each day with an open heart and an open mind. It means being present in the moment, recognizing the beauty and blessings that surround you, and being grateful for them. It's about trusting the journey, even when the path isn't clear, knowing that you are guided, protected, and loved. In conclusion, this divine message of healing, abundance, and unexpected opportunities is not just a promise. It's a pathway to a transformed life. It's an invitation to trust, to hope, and to open your heart to the miracles that await. As you walk this path, remember that you are never alone, that every step forward is a step toward a life filled with more joy, love, and fulfillment than you ever imagined possible. This journey is yours to embrace, and the divine promise is yours to live out in every beautiful, challenging, and transformative moment. In the whispers of the wind and the quiet of the night, God's voice reaches out to us, a gentle, soothing presence that envelopes our weary souls. My dear child, he says, with a love so deep it transcends our understanding, you don't have to work hard or struggle to have abundance in your life. These words, a balm to our restless spirits, carry a profound truth that invites us to look at life from a perspective of faith rather than one of constant striving and struggle. In a world where success is often measured by the extent of one's labor and the accumulation of material wealth, God's message stands as a beacon of hope, reminding us that true abundance, richness of life, peace, joy, and fulfillment comes not from our efforts alone but from a deep, trusting relationship with Him. It invites us to reconsider what we value most and to recognize that the most precious blessings are those gifted to us by divine grace. Abundance, as seen through the eyes of faith, encompasses more than just material wealth. It's about experiencing the fullness of life in every moment, finding joy in the simple things, peace in the midst of turmoil, and love in every encounter. This kind of abundance is available to all, requiring not hard labor but a heart open to receive, a spirit willing to trust, and a life aligned with divine will. To embrace this divine promise of abundance, we are called to let go of our preconceptions about success and achievement. Instead of pushing ourselves to the brink of exhaustion in pursuit of earthly rewards, we are encouraged to slow down, to savor the present, and to cultivate an attitude of gratitude for the countless blessings that surround us. When we shift our focus from what we lack to what we have, from what we want to what we need, we open ourselves to a new way of living, one that acknowledges God's generous provision in every area of our lives. God's assurance that we don't have to struggle for abundance also speaks to the power of faith. Faith invites us to trust in God's plans for our lives, to believe that He knows our needs and desires, and that He is capable of providing for us in ways that exceed our expectations. It teaches us to lean not on our own understanding but to depend on God, who guides our steps and opens doors we never knew existed. Moreover, living in abundance means sharing what we have with others, recognizing that true wealth is found not in accumulation but in generosity. 
by giving freely of our time, resources, and talents, we become conduits of God's grace, blessing others and, in turn, experiencing the joy that comes from seeing others thrive. This cycle of giving and receiving reflects the heart of God, who delights in blessing His children in abundance. Yet, embracing this promise of abundance does not mean we will never face challenges or hardships. Life, in its complexity, brings with it trials that test our faith and resilience. However, God's message reassures us that even in these moments, we are not alone. His presence is a constant source of strength and comfort, reminding us that our struggles do not define our abundance. Instead, our abundance is rooted in His unwavering love and faithfulness, a rock we can cling to in times of uncertainty. In practical terms, living in the abundance God promises involves daily acts of faith and surrender. It means starting each day with prayer, seeking His guidance, and listening for His voice in the midst of our activities. It involves reading His Word, which nourishes our souls and transforms our minds, helping us to see the world through His eyes. And it calls for community, sharing life with fellow believers who encourage, support, and remind us of God's truth when we are tempted to forget. Ultimately, God's declaration that we don't have to work hard or struggle for abundance is an invitation to live differently. It calls us to a life of faith, where trust in God's provision replaces anxiety about the future, where joy is found in the present moment, and where love guides our interactions with others. It challenges us to redefine success, to value relationships over riches, peace over possessions, and spiritual growth over societal status. As we embrace this divine perspective on abundance, we discover a life marked by freedom, contentment, and a deep sense of fulfillment. We learn to see God's hand in everything, to appreciate the beauty of creation, the gift of community, and the joy of living in harmony with His will. And as we journey forward, we do so with the confidence that comes from knowing we are deeply loved, cared for, and provided for by a God who delights in blessing His children. So let us take to heart God's gentle reminder, letting it shape our thoughts, our actions, and our lives. My dear child, you don't have to work hard or struggle to have abundance in your life. With these words, God invites us to a deeper relationship with Him, to a life of trust, peace, and overflowing abundance. In the quiet moments of reflection, when the world seems to slow down just enough for us to catch our breath, a voice, gentle and reassuring, whispers to our hearts. Type God is with me. My dear child, it says, a voice as familiar as it is divine, I promise that the rest of this week will be wonderful for you. These words, simple in their structure but profound in their impact, carry a promise of hope a beacon of light in our often hurried and harried lives. This promise from God is not just about the absence of challenges or difficulties, it's about finding beauty and joy amidst whatever circumstances we might face. It's a reminder that, under His watchful care, we are guided, protected, and loved, even in moments when we might feel alone or overwhelmed. This assurance invites us to view our days differently, to anticipate the good that is to come with a heart full of faith and hope. To embrace this promise fully, we are called to trust, to lay down our worries, fears, and doubts at His feet, and to walk through each day with the confidence that comes from knowing we are under His divine protection and provision. It's about seeing the world through the lens of faith, recognizing that even the smallest blessings are evidence of His love and care for us. This week, as promised by God, is an opportunity to experience life in all its fullness, to notice the beauty in the ordinary, the moments of grace in the everyday. It could be in the warmth of the sun on our face, the laughter of a loved one, or the quiet peace of a morning prayer. 
These are the wonders that make life beautiful, the moments that God promises will fill our week with joy. But this promise is also a call to action. It invites us to be agents of the very wonder we are promised. By spreading kindness, offering words of encouragement, and sharing our love with those around us, we become co-creators with God in making this week wonderful not just for ourselves, but for others as well. It's in giving that we receive, and in blessing others that we find our own lives blessed in return. To live out this promise, we must also practice gratitude, consciously acknowledging and appreciating the blessings that come our way. Keeping a gratitude journal, sharing our thanks with friends or family, or simply taking a moment to reflect on the day's gifts can deepen our awareness of God's presence and provision in our lives. Moreover, embracing this promise means staying open to the unexpected, to the ways in which God might choose to surprise us with His goodness. It's about being flexible, letting go of our own agendas and plans, and allowing God to lead us into experiences, encounters, and opportunities we could never have imagined on our own. This wonderful week ahead is also a time for personal growth and spiritual renewal, it's an invitation to spend time in prayer and meditation to connect with God on a deeper level and to seek His guidance and wisdom for our lives. As we draw closer to Him, we find our hearts and minds refreshed, our spirits uplifted, and our capacity for love and compassion expanded. In the challenges that might arise, this promise offers us a perspective of hope. It reminds us that, with God by our side, we can face any situation with courage and peace. It's an assurance that He is working all things together for our good, even when we can't see the immediate outcome. As the week unfolds, we are encouraged to document the wonders that happen, the moments of joy and beauty that fill our days. Whether through photos, journal entries, or shared stories, Capturing these blessings serves as a tangible reminder of God's faithfulness and love, inspiring us and others to keep trusting in His promises. Finally, this divine promise of a wonderful week is a testament to God's personal care for each of us. It's a reminder that we are not just faceless beings lost in the crowd but dearly loved children, known intimately and cherished deeply by our Creator. This knowledge fills us with a sense of worth and belonging that empowers us to live each day with purpose and joy. In essence, God's promise that the rest of this week will be wonderful for us is an invitation to live fully, to love deeply, and to look for His hand at work in all things. Type 999 and share this video to five family members. It's a call to trust in His goodness, to rest in His peace, and to embrace each moment with gratitude and hope. So, let us step into this week with open hearts and expectant spirits, ready to witness the unfolding of God's wonderful promise in our lives. In the gentle hush of early morning, when the world is still, a soft voice whispers to the soul, My dear child, I promise that the rest of this week will be wonderful for you. This assurance, coming from the divine, is a beacon of hope in the unpredictable sea of life, a promise that carries the weight of unconditional love and infinite wisdom. This promise is not a denial of the challenges or hardships that life may present, but a reminder that, within the fabric of our days, there is a thread of divine grace that weaves through, turning ordinary moments into extraordinary blessings. It's an invitation to look beyond the surface, to see the hand of God at work in the details of our lives, orchestrating moments of joy, peace, and fulfillment. To embrace this promise, one must first open the heart to receive it. It requires faith, a belief not in what we can see or touch, but in the unseen, in the power of God to transform our reality. It's about trusting that, even when the path is unclear, we are being led to places of beauty and light. 
Living in anticipation of a wonderful week means waking each day with a sense of expectancy, looking for the good that is to come. It's about starting the morning with gratitude, thanking God for the gift of another day, for the air we breathe, the sky above us, and the potential that lies within each hour. It also means being present in the moment, fully engaged with life as it unfolds. Too often, we rush through our days, our minds preoccupied with the past or the future, missing the beauty and the blessings that are right in front of us. To experience the wonder promised by God, we must learn to slow down, to savor each experience, each interaction, as a precious gift. This promise encourages us to look at the people in our lives with new eyes, to see them as vessels of God's love and kindness. It's an opportunity to strengthen bonds, to offer forgiveness where it's needed, and to express love and appreciation more freely. Relationships are a significant source of life's wonders, and nurturing them is key to experiencing the fullness of the joy promised to us. Furthermore, embracing this promise means being open to surprises, to the unexpected ways in which God might choose to reveal His goodness. It could be in a chance encounter, a word of encouragement at just the right moment, or in the beauty of nature that speaks directly to our hearts. Being attentive to these divine whispers requires a quiet mind and a receptive heart. A wonderful week also involves giving of ourselves. The joy we seek often comes through acts of kindness, generosity, and service to others. By focusing on the needs of those around us, by being a source of light and warmth in their lives, we not only fulfill the divine directive to love our neighbors, but also find our own lives enriched and our own spirits lifted. It's in giving that we receive a principle that lies at the heart of the promise for a wonderful week. This divine assurance also calls for a mindset of resilience and positivity. Even when faced with difficulties or setbacks, we are encouraged to maintain our faith and hope, trusting that each challenge is an opportunity for growth and that God's support is ever-present. A wonderful week is not devoid of trials, but is one in which we navigate these trials with grace and emerge stronger and more connected to our faith. Prayer and meditation play a crucial role in realizing the fullness of this promise. Through daily conversations with God, we align our hearts with His, seeking His guidance, drawing on His strength, and expressing our gratitude for His endless blessings. In these quiet moments of communion, we are reminded of the vastness of God's love for us and of His desire to see us live life to the fullest. Moreover, embracing this promise of a wonderful week means recognizing and celebrating the small victories and joys that often go unnoticed. Whether it's a successful completion of a task, a beautiful sunset, or a shared laugh with a friend, Acknowledging these moments amplifies the beauty of our lives and fills our hearts with happiness and contentment. This assurance from God also invites us to let go of our worries and anxieties to cast our cares upon Him, knowing that He cares for us deeply. Subscribe our channel for daily God blessings. It's an invitation to live freely and lightly, unburdened by the weight of unnecessary stress. In doing so, we open ourselves up to experience the peace and joy that God promises. Finally, living in expectation of a wonderful week is a journey of faith, a testament to our belief in God's goodness and His plans for our lives. It's a commitment to seeing the world through the lens of hope and love, choosing to focus on the blessings that abound, and spreading that hope and love to others. As we move through each day of this week, let us hold on to this promise, carrying it in our hearts as a reminder of God's presence and provision. Let us be mindful of the beauty that surrounds us, the opportunities for growth and giving, and the endless possibilities that each day holds. With faith, 
gratitude, and a spirit of anticipation, we can indeed experience the wonderful week that God has promised. In the quiet whispers of dawn, when the world is yet to stir from its slumber, a message of hope and promise is gently laid upon the heart. My dear child, speaks the voice of the divine, a voice both comforting and powerful, I am bringing new blessings to your finances, blessings that you never even thought were possible. This declaration, profound in its simplicity, is a beacon of light in the darkness, a promise of provision from the one who knows our needs even before we voice them. The journey of life is often marked by financial challenges and uncertainties. Many spend nights awake, burdened by worries of provision, the future, and the stability of their finances. Yet, in the midst of these trials, the promise of God stands firm, an anchor for our souls, reminding us that we are not alone, that our struggles are seen, and that divine intervention is at hand. To embrace this promise, one must first cultivate a heart of faith, a belief that transcends the visible and the tangible. It's about trusting in the goodness and faithfulness of God, believing that He is capable of doing immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. This faith is not passive, it's active, a dynamic force that propels us forward, encouraging us to live in anticipation of the blessings to come. Living in expectation of financial blessings requires a mindset shift, a move from scarcity to abundance, from fear to faith. It involves looking at our finances not as a source of stress, but as a vessel through which God's provision flows. This perspective helps us to recognize and appreciate the many ways in which we are already blessed and to remain open to the new blessings that are on the horizon. Embracing God's promise also means being responsible stewards of the resources we currently have. It's about managing our finances wisely, making prudent decisions, and avoiding the pitfalls of greed and materialism. By doing so, we prepare the ground for the new blessings to take root and grow, ensuring that when they arrive, we are ready to receive and multiply them. Prayer and meditation play a crucial role in this process. Through prayer, we communicate our hopes, our fears, and our desires to God, inviting Him into our financial journey. Meditation allows us to listen, to hear God's guidance, and to discern His will for our finances. This two-way conversation is vital, for it aligns our hearts with God's purposes and opens the door to divine wisdom and direction. Giving is another key element in preparing for financial blessings. By sharing our resources with those in need, we become conduits of God's generosity, participating in a cycle of blessing that not only enriches the lives of others, but also opens our own lives to receive more from God. Generosity is a principle deeply rooted in the kingdom of God, and it is often through giving that we unlock the doors to receiving. Moreover, embracing this promise involves a daily practice of gratitude. Recognizing and being thankful for the blessings we already have, no matter how small, cultivates an attitude of abundance that attracts more of the same. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we possess, from our problems to our provider, and in doing so, it changes our entire experience of life. The promise of new financial blessings also invites us to dream bigger, to expand our vision beyond the limitations of our current reality. It encourages us to set goals, to plan for the future, and to take steps of faith towards achieving those dreams. God's blessings are not limited by our imagination, they often exceed our wildest dreams, and by dreaming big, we open ourselves up to the full scope of what God wants to do in and through our finances. In the waiting, patience is crucial. The timing of God's blessings may not always align with our expectations, but they come at the perfect moment, according to His divine plan. Waiting with patience, sustained by faith, and anchored in hope, 
we demonstrate our trust in God's timing and provision. Finally, witnessing to others about God's provision and faithfulness becomes a powerful testimony that encourages and uplifts. Sharing our stories of how God has blessed us, especially in ways we never thought possible, can inspire faith in others and remind us of the countless ways in which God has been faithful in our lives. The promise of new blessings in our finances from God is a call to a deeper faith, a life of stewardship, generosity, gratitude, and expectation. It's an invitation to partner with God in the journey of financial stewardship, trusting in His provision, celebrating His faithfulness, and looking forward to the abundance that lies ahead. As we embrace this promise, we do so with hearts full of faith, eyes open to see the blessings that unfold, and spirits ready to receive all that God has in store. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.